just kind of an upbeat environment. Um, it seems like it's kind of being a little bit more the trendier crowd. Albuquerque's Knob Hill. You can park somewhere, you can go shopping, you can go to restaurants. There's a lot to do over here. It's seen a lot in the last hundred years. So if you've been here long enough, you'll see folks come in and out. It happens routinely. More recently, though, it seems the pulse of this trendy spot has slowed just a bit. Shade tree just closed down not too long ago. Staples just moved out too. It's sad. I mean, I, I would come here for my supplies, so now I have to find somewhere else. And after 65 years, Kurt's camera corral saw its flash fade. So, with all these losses, are people worried about Knob Hill's future? Not really. I, mean, I think everybody else here has a pretty good little niche in their, their business they have. In fact, we couldn't find anyone who seemed all that concerned. It's too bad for the business owner, but that just makes room for something new to come in. Those positive vibes are exactly what the Knob Hill Main Street Incorporated executive director is hoping for. We want to be the kind of urban, uh, pedestrian friendly uh, place where it's kind of its own little town. To keep Knob Hill's heartbeat strong now and through the next century. Now, Albuquerque's Knob Hill is doing a lot to celebrate its 100th anniversary. For all of the information on all of the events, just find the link in our KOET app. Reporting live from Albuquerque's Knob Hill, I'm Byron Morton, KOET Action 7 News. Cold temperatures.